Yes. Yeah, please let them in. Yeah. one hour waiting for the two of you. Sorry, sir. Yeah, sorry, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're very sorry, sir. On our way, we didn't it fit to check with the printer and collect some of the copies of the program so that we could bring it along with us. That's why we're late. We're very I'm sorry, sorry sir. sir. So do you have copies of the program with you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is good. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. So, how are you preparing for the wedding? Ah, Pastor, all is set. All set. In fact, we, we're really trying our best. <laughs> we're trying our best, and we believe that the Lord will be glorified on Saturday. Amen. We're trying our best. Sir, my dad said I should thank you for all your efforts towards our wedding. Oh, well, not at all. Is he back from his trip? Yeah. Yes, sir. He came back yesterday afternoon. And he said he will call you himself this evening. Oh, my early ones are already around. In fact, my elder sister also arrived yesterday evening. Fact, For this wedding? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's your lucky look. She came with the wedding gown. I saw it, sir. It's not one of those outrageous gowns. It is a moderate but beautifully made one. I'll bring it tomorrow to show you, sir. <laughs> you love it. Okay. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> sir? Open the envelope, read the content. What is it? and scan test. It's already six weeks. You know, I cannot feign ignorance of that and go ahead and conduct wedding for the two of you. No. Pastor, are you saying she's pregnant? stop your wedding but we cannot conduct that in this church and I am not going to be a part of it
Is it true? I noticed your sober mood and tearful face when you came back an hour ago. The pastor just called now. Is it true? He said the pre wedding pregnancy test and the scan conducted on you shows that you are six weeks pregnant. Is it true? Yes, Mom. Ah! Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> ah! Okay. But why? Why? Why were you in a hurry? Why didn't you wait? Eh? Imagine your father and Ada in the church. How will you feel? The pastor has said he won't be able to conduct the wedding. speaking to someone on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the pastor has um, told him to. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how your father and Helda in the church will feel. Ronke, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Your, your wedding is next week. Less than 10 days. Friends and relatives have been told the venue. Now to hear that the pastor is calling off the wedding. Ah, this is too bad. <laughs> too bad. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. But 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 we are both children of God. And, and you know it wasn't right for you to do that. You knew the implication, okay? We wanted to see you. Yes, I also wanted to see you, actually. Uh, that's about Ronke's case, I suppose. Ah, yes, exactly. Um, we, it was very, very embarrassing.
to Rosal. Yes, please. In fact, um, I couldn't believe my ears when I had your call in the afternoon. I later confronted her with the information, and she regrettably confirmed it. Mm. That she is pregnant? And that it is six weeks old? Yes, uh, Pastor. Uh, in fact, she is still locking herself up in her room now, weeping in regret. Elder, Moni, to say the truth, I am very, very disappointed. I, I mean, it's a very painful thing. Just to think that the two of them are officers among the workers in this church. That's why we're here, Pastor. Uh, we need your views. We want your counsel. I mean, you want to know where to go from here. Well, you are an elder too in this church. So you tell us what is your opinion. Well, Pastor, I think canceling the wedding program will be more embarrassing to the church in general. Uh, to roast the parents, uh, to friends and families. So what are you trying to say? Um, I, I mean, um, it will be more embarrassing to stop the program from holding in this church. People will ask questions, Pastor. Now, is it not more embarrassing to the Lord Jesus Christ that his own children who are supposed to keep the sanctity of the married bed have defiled it? What else could be more embarrassing than that? Hmm, please, Pastor. Don't cancel this wedding program. So please, Pastor. Please, Pastor. Do it for them and let them go and face the future. Let them go and face the consequences. That's exactly what I'm trying to be careful about. What? that I don't want to be a partaker of another man's sins. I don't want to be seen as condoning the consequences of another man's willful disobedience. So, Pastor, what are you concluding on now? Well, I am not cancelling this wedding. No, not at all. But rather, all I am saying is that I will not conduct such a wedding in this church. Pastor. Yes, ma'am. Can I ask a question? Oh, please go ahead. Is there any sin too big that the Lord cannot forgive? Oh, none. Absolutely none. Excluding this one that these children of ours have seen against him. Um, well, uh, not exactly, ma'am. But you see, we must be careful because some actions act as stumbling blocks for others. Now, imagine this. After this wedding, in another six or seven months, she will put to bed. Now, are you saying we should encourage premarital sex in this church? No. I can't conduct this wedding. Other pastors in other churches may choose to conduct it but no, not in this church, not me. I choose rather to abide with the principles of the Word of God. Hmm. All right, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, Elder. Yes, Pastor. I am rather surprised that you could come to me with a proposal like this, knowing fully well that these people have violated the principles of the Word of God. Now, if you were in my position, would you rather conduct a wedding for a lady who is two months pregnant? Oh, think about it. I am disappointed. 
at you, Dad. What do you want me to do, Pastor? They have done it and they have done it. So what next? And don't forget, the lady is my daughter. My flesh and my blood. So, in this situation, what do you expect me to do? You don't throw away the baby with the dirty water. Huh? Abi? Yeah, let's go. We will go and talk about what next to do. Evening, sir. Yes, I let you just drop room okay, from your car this afternoon and drove off. Without waiting behind to sit with her and discuss on what to do next. And do you realize the situation of God? Your wedding is next week, and the pastor has declined conducting the wedding for you because of the stupid mistake by both of you. Now you have circulated the wedding invitation card, you have printed the programs, and the old church is aware, and now the pastor is calling it off. Who want to come over here and discuss the wedding for what? I understand, sir. You understand? So, what are you going to do about it? I call you back, sir. You call me back? Yes, sir. Ha! What did he say? <laughs> he said he will call me back. Can you imagine that? Why is this boy doing like this? Oh, God. This is not usual of him. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Ronke! Ronke! She has gone out, sir. To where? I don't know, sir. She just went out. <laughs> I hope she went with her mobile set. I don't know. You can go. See you tomorrow to explain everything. 
It's just some slight changes concerning the old program. It's nothing so serious. I'll call you back, Mom. I'll call you back. You didn't call since afternoon. I couldn't call because I was confused. And in fact, I'm still in confusion. About what? The pastor said the pregnancy test revealed that you are six weeks pregnant. Is it true? Are you asking me if it is true? But you never told me you were pregnant before you went for the test. Because I didn't know I was until I heard it from the pastor. Lies! Lies! I don't believe that. Why? You ought to have known through many signs that you are pregnant already. Yes, I agree. That was my fault. I've been insane since afternoon. I've been confused and sad because the news met me suddenly. My dad and mom have gone to see the pastor, whether he will change his mind. Your dad called a few minutes ago. He said the pastor has refused to comply. Huh. <laughs> Good. What shall we do now? The wedding is cancelled. You mean we we'll change the venue? Can, can we can we change the venue and look out for another hall and get a pastor or a reverend to do it for us? I said the wedding is cancelled. Hello, Dad. I just want to let you know that. Kule, what's going on? Can I have my phone, please? What did you just say? I said I'm no longer interested in the wedding again. Why? Why? How come that pregnancy? Are you asking me how the pregnancy came to be? Uh, is that question surprising? Yes, of course. Kule, what's going on? Are you amazed that I'm pregnant? But that evening that I slept, there was all I needed to be pregnant. Kule, what are you saying? I don't believe you. You don't believe that I am now pregnant as a result of my sleeping here that evening? You don't believe that that one night we had together here could result in this pregnancy? I knew that is what you say. I knew that is what you say, sweetie. I knew it. Was it a lie? Truly after the sinful act, we were both sober and sad. We felt so bad and we prayed over it that the Lord will forgive us. And it never happened again since then. When was that? When was what? The date. Can you recollect when it happened? Well, I can't remember the exact date. But you cannot deny the fact that it did happen. <laughs> yes, it happened. But I'm very much particular about when it happened. The test revealed that it is six weeks old. Mm. So that must be about six weeks ago. That evening, I had just returned from Kaduna from an interview. And I called you to inform you that I was back. You said you were coming immediately. I asked you not to come because it was a bit late. Can you remember? Yes, I do. Where are you coming from by this time of the night? Where? This is past 11. But I already told you I was coming. But I told you not to bother coming tonight. 
I will see tomorrow. What kept you so late? I've been waiting for the result of the interview. You told me you'll come back to Lagos by around 5 p.m. So I've been waiting for your call. I had a change of plans. I have to do some other things in Kaduna before coming. I took the last flight to Lagos. But I've told you not to come tonight. I have told you. Whatever the result, you will still have had tomorrow. I'm sorry for bumping on you. I didn't mean to. The taxi I picked took a longer route. Eh? She took a drop? Yes. Because I wanted to come here and go back fast. But the man took a longer route. Still, I see no reason for your coming tonight. I see no reason for your coming. You disobey my words. I have said I am sorry. My mind was on the result of the interview. And besides, I just feel like seeing you. But if I've intruded into your privacy on and now, then I'm sorry. And where do you think you are going? Oh, since you don't appreciate my presence, then I have to go. Can you see the time? This is past 11. And how do you intend to get back home tonight? Of course you know your house is very far. Can you go with my car? I'll come and pick it first thing tomorrow morning. No, I can't drive in the night. Besides, I have a headache. Don't worry, I'm money to get home. Ow! This is 11.30. I don't like this type of visit. I don't like it. I don't like it, eh? Don't mind. I'll go and drop it myself. Place it in this house, then you still get it. Oh. This headache again. Oh. Sorry. I'm eating. You need to take some tablet before sleeping. I've no eating. There's rice inside the pot. I cooked it immediately. I came back from Cardinal. The remaining won't be enough for you, alright? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.
Где есть слип? Куда он слип? My head is pounding. But I'm feeling feverish. Sorry. That must be fever. Is it it? I don't know. I will find ourselves on this rug, right here in this living room. And we ended up doing what we did. Can you remember that? It's good you remember that. Was that not enough to make me pregnant? Yes, it was. But what we did that night was not responsible for the pregnancy we now carry. What do you mean? How many weeks old did the pastor say the scantest revealed? Can you still remember that? Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Good. And six weeks is one month and two weeks. Is it it? Yes. You wait a minute. was the day I got the result of the interview. I got the result of the interview that day and I came back home from Cardona in the evening. It was that same night you smuggled yourself into my house and we ended up doing what we did. 16th July. And what are you trying to bring out of that? Come on, simple calculation. Simple calculation. Tomorrow is August 16th. Exactly one month we slept together. But the pregnancy is one month and two weeks. Meaning what? I could not have been responsible for the pregnancy you now carry. Someone has been dead before me. So, I'm calling her the wedding. as uh, juicy as this one, very easy these days. You know what is at stake. Hmm? You know what is at stake. The availability of a car and housing loans, the several other juicy French benefits, the high salary scale, and so many other things. Those things don't come easy. You know. But I need this job. I've just been laid off in my former company. Now, my wedding is approaching. Just about two months' time. <laughs> you see, the truth is that you are qualified for this job. All right? You are qualified for this job. But. <laughs> You have to pay the price. But I told you I'm getting married in two months' time. Oh, I can't do it. Come on, come on. Come on. The fact that you are getting married in two months is no big deal. People do it. Even those who are married are doing it. Yeah? They call it job and claim out. Hmm? We will do it and nobody will know. Get away with it. It's a common thing everywhere. I can't. 
can't do it. I can't. All right. In that case. All right. Okay. This is your employment letter. Can you see your name on it? Yes, sir. Please. This is your name, and uh, I have already signed it. Oh, oh, Jesus, oh, please, sir, oh. I thought you would need it. That was why I signed it even before calling you. But now it's certain you don't need it. But I need it. Don't do this to me. You know what to do. Oh. I have already told you what you need to do. I'll give you between now and tomorrow evening to make up your mind. Oh. Thereafter, I'll release it to the next bidder. Oh. to get a very lucrative before my wedding has pushed me into this mess and my mom warned me. If I were you, I won't worry myself. I will be patient. I refuse to allow the pressure on my mind. No, forget it. My wedding is in two hours' time. There are so many things I want to do that I can't do. So many preparations. I don't know how I feel getting sad when my wedding is just around the corner. Okay. Hmm? Okay, I know how you feel, you know. But it isn't your fault. Hmm? The reforms and the capitalization process has too many people out of jobs, so you're not the only one. Hmm? No matter what happens, I'm going to get a job before my wedding. How do we sustain ourselves when we are married? I can't rely on my husband's income alone. But you said the interview wasn't successful. So what else do you want to do? Where else do you want to go? Not that it was not successful. I was very qualified. But there are some problems about it. About what? The personnel manager is demanding a price I can't pay. How much? He wants to take me out before giving me the letter. Never. Never! And never you do that. It isn't as bad as that. Ah. I told him I'm getting married in two months' time. That's a pass! Even if you're not getting married. Ah. What? You can't join the craziness of this present time. You are a child of God, Runke. You don't belong to that group. Others may be doing it, but you are different. You are a child of God. You don't belong there. Ah! Hey! He showed me the letter. Put it aside. Then he tore it right in my presence. Because you refused him? Yes, ma'am. Let him go away with his letter. God has a better provision for you. Let him go away! The PRO seat has a lot of attractions attached to it. People from a highly encouraging salary. The various possible loans. 
the full benefit. Ronke. Ronke. <laughs> Don't flirt with that idea. It is like sacrificing one's integrity to a temporary job offer. Don't do it. Don't do it. I was blindfolded by gripping self-ambition to become something by having a lucrative employment at hand. I wanted the job by all means. I wanted to be highly respected by my colleagues and fiancé. Time to play with me before going. Eh? You know I'm not in the best moods. You made me do what is against my wish. Is it because you desire to get a job? Others are dying to have. You know what is at stake, baby. You know. Eh? The loans, the French benefits, the annual leave bonuses. Eh? The high salary scale and uh, the regular promotion attached to the post of a PRO in a big conglomerate like ours. You know now. Where's the letter? Okay. before going? No. It's not necessary. Mm. I suggest you take a look at the content before you leave this place. In fact, I insist. Let's make a new deal. New deal? 
What again? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's more, it's, it's easier than you think, oh. It's easier than you think. Let's make a new deal. I'm not interested in any new deal again. Um, come and sit down. Come and sit down. I'll tell you how easy the new deal is. Oh, oh God. Who's all this? Rokus, baby, sit down. Sit down, let me tell you. That's not good enough. Come and sit beside me. Here. Here. Come and sit here. Aha. Now, do you want to collect your letter tonight and resume on Monday morning? Yes, sir. That is what I want, please. Good. Good. Then stay with me tonight. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll give you a letter at the two hundred dollars I promised you. Simple, isn't it? It's simple. It's simple. Because it's a simple deal. It's simple. Take it easy. It's a simple deal. Huh? It's simple. <laughs> I like you. You know I like you. Hmm? You fulfilled this promise. I slept with him through the night. And I left with the letter the next morning. The following Monday, I resumed as the public relations officer of the large company. Hmm. Just of recent, I was given an official car. My fiancé was very delighted. I was proud of me among his colleagues. My parents were very glad. I became highly respected and I got what I wanted. Until the joy turned sour about two weeks later, I suddenly began to feel funny. Another man? Ah! Ridiculous. Impossible. Oh. <sighs> 
you know, one of the things you don't understand is that wait, wait. Ah. Hey, I want you, baby. I'm not doing now. Thanks. Fine. I will go. What's the matter with me? What do I expect him to do now? I had to do what I did. I went to his house that night and was left together despite all his resistance. I did what I did in order to make him claim the responsibility for the pregnancy. Hmm. But I never knew he'd be so smart to calculate the date. Hmm. What next? I must press on with this battle. The pastor may refuse to conduct the wedding for us. We will only need to change the venue and hold the program in a hall. But all I need is that Kune accept this pregnancy. I'm calling up the wedding. I have proudly announced to friends and relatives. <laughs> then the pastor has even refused to conduct the wedding in the first place. <laughs> Where do I start from? Where do I go from here? Forgive me. I know I have missed it. Forgive me. But how do I even find myself in this mess? Oh! If that pregnancy is actually six weeks old, then it's not mine. No, it's not mine. Hello? 
Elusa. Elusa. It's me, Kula Ajoya. I'm very sorry for calling you at this time of the night, sir. I'm indeed very sorry. But I would like to see you, sir. Oh, is it so serious you can't wait till tomorrow morning? My heart desires seeing you tonight, sir. Kindly allow me. But if it is on that matter, it's no use bothering me. What you have done is to break the spiritual rules of the church. And I cannot break the rules. I consider it very amazing that a fervent, serious, and dedicated child of God like you could allow himself to be used of the devil to make that kind of mistake. Well, I have already informed the choir not to come to church on Saturday. And I have also informed the elders of the church that the, wed the wedding will not hold in this church again. That's all. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't go against all that. Actually, sir, I have no objection to your stand again. It's okay by me. But I just want to see you for something else, sir. No, 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 no. That can wait till tomorrow, okay? Can't I see you tonight? No, no, no. Tomorrow, okay? Bye. All right, sir. I just want to let you know I'm not responsible for the pregnancy. Till tomorrow. Good night. Wait, 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 wait. Sir? What did you just say now? I said I'm not responsible for the pregnancy, sir. Are you trying to say you did not sleep with her at all? Sir, I, I, I did. And it was a pity I fell into that mistake. I, oh, my friend, you don't have a point. Then why are you wasting my time? Are you trying to deny responsibility for your actions? No, sir. Let me explain. Sir, the date. There is nothing to explain, my friend. Good night, okay? I knew it! I knew it would be very difficult to believe! I knew it! Some strange information, and I was just called by Sister Hill one day telling me the man who is making our wedding suit said uh, the wedding will no longer hold in the church. I was like, you know, disorganized, destabilized, and confused. Brokele, you just relax and listen. No, 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 don't tell me to come down. Ask your best man. I think I need to know. I'll be able to explain everything to you tomorrow morning. Uh, explain what? You don't need to explain. Uh, is it true that the pastor has refused to conduct the wedding ceremony? Is it true? Yes. Then what happened? We talk tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? All right then, all right. Good night. <sighs> What is going on? What is it? Pastor has cancelled the wedding. Then what happened? The news is spreading fast. Soon the entire church will know. Ah! <laughs> I 
I knew it. Already, I know. We are both automatically be suspended from officials and visitation teams. Ah. Jesus. I know you can mend my broken life. I know you can heal my rotting bones. Lord, please, please heal my life. Heal me, heal me, forgive me. Already, I know. We are both automatically be suspended from officials and visitation teams. Ah. Jesus. I know you can mend my broken life. I know you can heal my rotten bones. Lord, please, please heal my life. Heal me, heal me, forgive me. Surprised seeing us early in the morning like this. How? She came to you. Let's go inside. It is a sitting matter. <clears throat> she called me yesterday evening at around eleven. And she began to weep on the phone. When I asked her what the problem was, she said you told her that you were calling off the wedding. Mbo, is it true? Was that all she told you? Early this morning, when she came, we had the full explanation of what happened. She said both of you had fun together, which resulted into that pregnancy. When your pastor found out, he was angry. And he said that wedding will not hold in his church. She said because of that, you said you were not interested in the wedding. Was that all she told you? Kelly, are there other reasons why you called off the wedding that's supposed to take place in Liberty this time? Remember, friends have heard, and relatives have been told. Why is it that you decide to take this step? She told you she's pregnant. I don't care what the rules and regulations of your church are. To us, it's a good news. And if your pastor refuses to conduct the wedding, then we change the venue and probably contact our own event. He will gladly do it. <laughs> Daddy. Hmm? Mommy. 
if my pastor has decided not to conduct the wedding program for us, because of our sinful act, it's quite understandable. Of course, we are not expected to do what we did. We know for sure it's against the will of God. But Ronke has not actually told you what I said. No. What was it? That you were calling off the wedding? No. I said the pregnancy is not mine. What? I'm not responsible for it. What did you just say? For goodness, are you just hearing that for the first time? Only. What did you just say now? You are disowning this pregnancy? Mom, I said it's not mine. No. Ah. <laughs> So you are denied this now? Didn't she tell you all this when she reported to you? <laughs> Kule. Kule. What are you saying from your mouth? This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous, father. I mean every word. <laughs> Kule. What have you decided to do this to me? Are you not denying we never slept together? Uh, <laughs> Ola Pule. Why are you denying? Eh? I'm not denying, mommy. I'm not denying. I said I'm not the one responsible for it. Ola Pule and Jola. You mean you didn't sleep together at all? At all? Eh? Ah. Yes, we did. About a month ago. But the pregnancy test revealed that she's six weeks pregnant. Six. Abba. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. What does that mean? It means she was already pregnant before we slept together. Yeah, yeah. He's lying. See, he's lying. Only listen. Have you ever slept with her at all? God. Why? It's a pity this situation is coming up. It wouldn't have come up if I'd been watchful enough and resisted every temptation of that night. Will you answer my question? Did you ever sleep together? Yes. But once. Yeah, yeah. Twice! Three times! Hey, baby! Roke? Roke? Abba! Remember that night I just returned from Kaduna and you did to mention was the third time. I you know it. Why are you trying to run away from your responsibility? Once it's enough to find a child, you better let us all come together in unity and forge ahead. Look, case pregnancy shouldn't stop this wedding. Let's look for the way out. Please, don't do this to me. The person who's counseling the wedding in our church is enough shame and embarrassment. Please, don't do this to me. Please, don't deny me. Please. I'm not denying you, Ronke. I'm not denying you, and you know it. People may not believe what I'm saying. Nobody may understand me. But God knows. God knows, we only met once, out of much deliberate temptation. If that pregnancy is six weeks old, then it's not mine. It's not mine. Kule, that's not true. The date you mentioned was the third time, and you know it. Abba, this deliberate lies now shows me you have a problem. A big one. Big problem. Why have you decided to do this to me? Why? Daddy, mommy, know this for sure. This wedding is cancelled. And the baby in our room is not mine. I stand by my word. I know I have sinned against God by allowing myself to fall into that temptation. But I know God whom I serve. It will gather together my shattered life and make me whole again. But it will be a greater sin on my part to accept the responsibility of another man's baby. Alright. Kule, I just want you to know that I have never loved 
any other man but you. <laughs> this pregnancy is yours, and you know it. You know it. <laughs> What's happening to me? Oh. Kunle, you deny me and turn your back to what you knew about? All right. Whatever happens, be ready to bear the consequences. Wait, wait, okay, wait, okay. Come back, let us take you home. Son, why have you allowed all this to happen to you? Eh? What do you want me to tell all my friends and relatives? That my son is cancelling the wedding and denying the pregnancy that he's responsible for? My pastor could not believe me. Huh? My parents too find it difficult to comprehend my reasons. That one night of carelessness, as a rubbish whatever you say I could have given, that's rubbish it. <laughs> 